science is everywhere in our days. The rapid development of science and technology is changing our life and future. China's Shenzhou 9 spacecraft successfully docked with Tiangong 1 space station. Astronomer Wang Yaping gave experimental lectures in space. Deep sea submersible Jiaolong successfully completed trial dive. 3D printing technology is spread to the whole world. Science is double-edged. It not only contributes to the well-being of mankind, but also causes huge disasters. Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. Panic buying of iodized salt in supermarkets. Hazy weather continues. People in mass go to work or school. Global warming, ice sheet melting. It has become difficult for polar bears to survive. Facing a succession of scientific events, the public is in urgent need of a platform to learn about the scientific knowledge behind them. At the same time, scientists also need a platform to comment on the scientific contents behind all sorts of events occurred in the field they know well. In September 2009, Xiao Gu Wei Science Forum, open to the public, was jointly founded by Guangdong Science Center and South China Metropolis. At the forum, topics relating to social hot topics and latest scientific and technological development are discussed. The international and domestic renowned experts are invited to deliver lectures. With its on-site lectures and multi-level broadcasting by media, it works well in science communication and realizes the efficient coverage. The forum has now become an influential brand for non-profit science-related lectures in China and abroad. So far, the forum has successfully delivered 100 plus sessions of lectures once a week on the average. The frequent lectures have substantially ensured the following up and interpretation of scientific issues related to major events, thus making the forum indispensable to the public's social activities. As the forum is jointly organized by South China Metropolis, each session presented by previews, Interviews and in-depth reports covers hundreds of millions of people with 1,800,000 issues. In addition, thanks to the in-depth cooperation with mass media such as GDTV and Sino Weibo, we realize the profound science communication with diverse approaches via TV media and network platform. The forum is highly international. So far, we have invited scientists from more than 20 countries and regions in five continents to deliver speeches at the forum. Our keynote speakers involved Nobel Prize winners, academias from Chinese Academy of Sciences and Chinese Academy of Engineering, frontline experts and scholars from universities and science research institutes, as well as rising stars in sciences and famous netizens who practically apply scientific knowledge in daily life in China. The planning and selection of lecture topics is closely related to social hot issues and latest scientific issues. The topic covers many disciplines and fields, such as aerospace, paleontology research, arcticology, astronomy exploration, environmental protection, climate and meteorology, geography, and Nobel Prize. Diverse Forms The sessions of the forum are presented in more than conventional lectures. Lively and intriguing forms are adopted, such as live videos, outdoor exploration trips, experiment demonstrations, special exhibitions and hit movies to promote interaction and communication with the audience. Q 
cooperation with other organizations. The forum has involved cooperation with consulates, science research institutes, universities, Sun Yat-sen University, South China University of Technology, and Guangdong University of Technology, and Guangdong Province Science and Technology Library, to have some sessions on campus and in communities. In this way, students and the public can have educational programs nearby so as to enhance the influence and coverage of the forum. Um,有一定的深度就与我学的专业一定的关系，而且还讲的也比较好懂。我感觉就有一定的收获。呃，气氛更加活跃一点，然后那种探究啊、探讨啊，大家一起呃互动的氛围会比较好。这个工作做的应该是非常好的，非常有意义。市民啊，或者是一些普通的学生呀、中学生、大学生啊，对科学研究和科学的领域能更多的了解。这个我觉得对普及我们国家的市民对这个科学研究以及这个更深一层次的这